Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Well, 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 it looks like that we're gonna see a Black Friday event in the Bitcoin price. We just started this huge peak correction that we were waiting now for so many days. So if you followed my videos, I told you that we have a lot of warning signs up here at around $19,000 and it is good to take some profits in order to rebuy back in once we're gonna see the big correction incoming. And since we are breaking now this main support of this channel that we were in here in the last couple of days, I think this could be the big time of this big correction down towards our main target, which we will cover in the weekly time frame. But before we start with that, a little reminder that we still have some nice Black Friday deals that are going on. You can also see in the Black Friday video that I recorded yesterday, in which I show you where you can get these nice crypto deals. So the number one, of course, is this one over here from Ledger, where you can get up to 40% discount on your Nano Ledger S or Nano Ledger X. And of course, also all the other deals that are going on for this week. So check out the video that is popping off at the end of this video and now my friends let's dive straight into the content and we're gonna start here in the four hour time frame because since we are now breaking below this main support that we created here during the last few days we most likely are going to see a major correction but that doesn't mean that we will go straight to the downside that doesn't mean that we will go straight towards our main target which we're gonna see in the weekly time frame so what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours and days is a possible step by step dump so we most likely are going to reach important supports have a bounce from it and then continue the dump towards our main target and here in the four hour time frame you can see that currently we are not breaking here significant moving averages so of course it is bearish that we're now trading below the 20 and 50 moving average but as you can see we are still maintaining here the 200 moving average so so far we didn't go below this 15,650 level and this is where I think we're most likely gonna see a bounce to the upside potentially to confirm again that this previous support is now resistance at approximately $18,000. So if you want to trade it over on a Bybit or a Femex with a short position, then maybe wait for a possible bounce here because the lower time frames are looking like that we're gonna see here a possible bounce, confirm the new resistance and then continue the dump. So this price level down here at around 15,650 is where I think it is good to maybe open up even a small a long position to ride it up and then as soon as we confirm the new resistance to short it again if you want to take this risk too short because of course you can do also nice gains shorting but be very careful when you're shorting in an uptrend because don't forget in the bigger time frames we are still in a bull market we are still in an uptrend and since I'm also trading with my own indicator, the one hour and one minute time frame, I'm also looking here at the lower time frames to do also some little intraday trades. And also if you want to see this live stream of my own indicator or want to get the code for my own indicator, you can contact me over on Discord. Currently I have a 50% off on my indicator where you can easily also trade, for example, here the one hour time frame. So you can do maybe one or two trades a day like that but let's go now back into the four hour and have a look also into the Bollinger Band because here you can see that we are clearly overshooting it to the downside and this will not stay for too long even though we're gonna see potentially continuation to the downside and also the nine day now is crossing over the 20 moving average in the four hour which usually indicates a big sell-off but since we are already overshooting now the Bollinger Band I think we most likely gonna see maybe another confirmation that this area here of around $18,000 isn't new resistance and then continue with the next move to the downside we also have all the indicators now shifted to the downside and stochastic now is bottoming out so here I'm expecting at least in the next couple of hours a potential bounce to the upside and that's why I'm keeping an eye also here in the one hour time frame because as you can see it looks like that we're getting very soon a buy signal here and that could be a nice long opportunity towards $18,000 and there we're gonna have to see if we should close an hour long and swap it over into a short or keep the long going because don't forget my friends don't panic sell we are still at the beginning of a big bull market and what we're seeing right now is just an overdue correction that we were waiting now for many many days 
and now we can also have a look quickly into the DXY because as you can see although the DXY is still falling off the cliff and this is very interesting to see because even though the DXY continues to fall Bitcoin is also still falling so it looks like that we have kind of a decoupling also from the DXY but we're gonna have to see what will happen here of course in the next couple of days and therefore let's go into the daily time frame because here you can see that this is now the first time that we are dropping below the nine day moving average and that is bearish if we're gonna close today below $18,400 so if we confirm that now we're gonna lose this support here at the nine day moving average and even worse have a close below the 20 daily moving average currently at $17,000 I think we will see see this major correction potentially down here towards the 200 daily moving average which is lining up perfectly at around $12,000. You can also see that currently the RSI cooled off straight down to the 50 level and also my own indicator currently you can see that the money flow is coming down so I'm expecting continuation to the downside especially if we're going to have a close today below $17,000. Only if we will close above $17,000 then be prepared to see a big bounce towards the 9 day again potentially also to test this new resistance here at around $18,000 but if we are able to go again above the 9 day and also close a daily candle above the 9 day moving average currently at $18,400 then we should be gearing up here for the next big move to the upside which will also create a new all time high. So it's going to be very key to see where we're going to close the next couple of daily candles and now we can also head over into the Bollinger Bands because currently you see that we are trading right in the middle line so I told you if we're gonna see a major dump then watch out here for the midline here at $17,000 if this support is not gonna hold so if we have a daily close below this price level then we could easily fall towards the bottom here of around $14,300 that is very likely and I don't think that we necessarily have to stop here so I still think we could go even lower but at least this is the price level where I expect another bounce potentially to the upside here to retest the new resistance and then come down again to reach the ultimate last price target that I have here in this potential big correction that is going on right now and therefore we can go over into the weekly time frame because as you can see here the 20 weekly moving average which is always a big support during a bull market is right here at 12,350 so if we're gonna see a big correction maybe this week or next week then this is where I'm gonna go all in again right here at $12,400 it is possible that maybe we will see a week to the downside maybe even towards $9,800 where we still have of CME future gap that is possible but I'm definitely not gonna wait and take the risk that we will have a big bounce from it just to wait if we're gonna maybe reach this 10k area again so what I'm gonna do is just go all in again at the 20 weekly moving average right here $12,400 and that is my ultimate price target where I think we could be definitely bottoming out here before we're gonna see the next parabolic run like we have seen here since we bounced last time from the 20 weekly moving average and also if we do a few Bonacci retracement based on the last bottom here at 10k up to this local top that we had here at $19,500. This gives us a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at $13,500 which is also more or less where the 20 weekly moving average will be if we're gonna need a couple of weeks to have a complete retracement back down to this level. It is also possible that maybe we're gonna see a week below towards the 0.786 which is at $12,000 and the 20 weekly moving average is perfectly between these two fib lines so this is the area that I'm targeting here for a major correction if we're gonna see this big correction right now and where also I'm gonna go all in because that could be really the last time my friends that we're gonna see Bitcoin so cheap and it is very likely that afterwards we're gonna go straight again towards 20k and also create a new all-time high so definitely take this opportunity if the price is going down to these levels so even here in the weekly time frame you can see that we were very overbought and this correction was about to come also in my own indicator it looks like that we could get the sell signal pretty soon but don't get scared my friends we just most likely gonna go towards here the 20 weekly here at around twelve thousand five hundred dollar if you took out some profits in this area up here or on the way to the upside then make sure to dca back into bitcoin especially down at these levels here at around 13 to twelve thousand 
dollar and now we can also have a quick look into the dxy and the weekly because also here you can see that the dxy is still falling off the cliff and that's why i think even though bitcoin could see a big correction for the long term we should be very bullish because the dxy is still looking very very bearish and we should expect here the dxy to continue to go into the abyss and that's why bitcoin is really looking bullish for the long term and you should try to accumulate as much as possible if we're gonna see here this big correction that we were waiting now for so long and we can also have a look into the bollinger bands in the weekly because here you can see that we were completely overshooting it to the upside and i told you also yesterday my friends that we will at any time see a correction down to these two moving averages here and they are exactly between fourteen thousand dollar and twelve thousand four hundred dollar and that's why i told you my friends make sure that you're ready for that scenario that the sooner or later we will see this correction down to these two moving averages like we always do during a bull run so take profits on the way up of course don't sell everything because you will never catch the top but make sure that you have enough money on the sideline to buy even more bitcoin if we're gonna reach these levels down here and if you're still invested 100 in bitcoin then of course you can go for example short here on bybit or femex and if you still need an account over here then make sure to use my links down below here because with my referral links you will support the channel and also you will get some bonus and reward so definitely go and open up an account at least on Bybit and Femex if you want you can also go over on Prime XPT where you can copy trade all the traders only Prime XPT has this co-vesting feature so definitely check it out if you're interested and of course if you need help with trading join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is a welcome and this is also where you can get this nice indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel very much appreciated and let's see now where bitcoin is gonna head to and uh, where we're gonna put in our next trade don't get scared my friends corrections always happens and this is good because like that you can accumulate even more bitcoin and of course thanks to bybit and femix you can also make profits when we are crashing down so you can go short for example and like this you can accumulate even more cryptos so once we're gonna bottom out and then start the next parabolic run you don't have to fomo in because at that time you already have accumulated enough bitcoin and for all the no coiners out there make sure to open up right now an account over on swiss pork and coinbase you find all my invitation links down below here because with my referral links you will get even more money so you can buy even more cryptos and if you're gonna see such a correction that is the best opportunity for you to enter the boat before it's leaving the station so make sure to buy bitcoin and cryptos over on coinbase and swiss pork before it's too late so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to watch the black friday video that is popping up here at the end of this video and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye